The study of steps to knowledge is a preparation for our contact with intelligent life in the universe because it builds a connection between our intellect and this greater intelligence called knowledge that exists within each one of us. This greater intelligence represents the core of our strength as individuals. And if it is united with others, it becomes an immense social strength, a strength of the human family, a strength of self-determination, a strength that is free from external manipulation and control. Steps to knowledge as a spiritual practice builds this kind of conscious connection between our thinking mind and a deeper knowing mind within us. This core strength is something we are going to need if we are going to face the great ways of change that are coming to our world, environmental change, resource depletion, changing climate, increasing economic and political instability, and so forth. And we're going to need this core strength to face the challenges and the opportunities of emerging into a greater community of intelligent life in the universe. This requires that we rise above our superstitions, that we rise above our animosities, we rise above our troubled history and our grievances with one another. This core strength gives us the power to do this. We may all want to be able to rise above our self-defeating tendencies, but where will we find the strength to do it? Where is that power going to come from? Some people think the power comes from God, that God will lift us up. But in the New Message teaching, and in the Allies of Humanity briefings, it is made clear to us that this power has already been given to us. A power we do not use, a power we do not refer to, a strength that we do not recognize, and that we greatly need in our individual lives, in everything that we do, in our relationships, in our activities, and so forth. But beyond all this, we need this core strength. If we are to remain a free people in a universe of powerful influences, if we are to face competition from beyond our world, for who will be dominant within this world? Competition that every native race must face. If we are to establish our own rules of engagement and our own ethics of contact with whomever is in the world today and whomever we may encounter in the future. We are going to need this core strength. And Steps to Knowledge gives us the greatest opportunity to find, to experience, and to express this great strength.